Pachanita Tamayongkit runs an organic chemistry lab at Bangkok's main university. She's won numerous awards and is one of the few women in Thailand to have made it to the top in research. To get there, she's had to face some prejudice about the role of women in this traditional society. I just have to look intellectual because otherwise they will say we, we use our beauty or we use our sweetness to finish the work. So it's not like that. But I feel that I have to, um, to prove myself more than some of my male colleagues. But Chanita designs organic materials to improve the efficiency of solar cells. She supervises a dozen graduate students, most of them young women. Plenty of women choose to study chemistry, she says, but pursuing a career in research is difficult because of societal expectations and the pressures of family life. For Thai people, it's a little bit more um, uh, intense, especially for the one having a family. So because we have some expectation from the people around, uh, according to our whole tradition, that the ladies have to take care of the household stuff very well. That holds us up a little bit in research. And if you give up, uh, that's it. But Chanita has watched some of her classmates drop out of research. Her friend Pakasip left the lab to become a full-time mom. Uh, because uh, it consumes a lot of time to make a good or bad research. Mm -hmm. So I have to spend a time for experiment or uh, discussion for students. So I need a time for look after my babies. So I, I don't have time for me, something like that. But Chanita doesn't have children. At 38, she lives with her parents, which is common in Thailand. Their home is conveniently close to the university. They are clearly very proud of her. But Chanita says that the two main ingredients for success are a supportive family and a huge dose of determination. Her mother agrees. Yeah. She says support from the family, support and encouragement is the most important thing and to, to drive this. Back at the university, Pachanita is focused on finding applications for her compound. The aim of her research is to develop thin, flexible solar cells. So now, if I connect it, here we go. The little motor works. One day, they could be stuck on a bag and used to charge a mobile phone or rolled out on a roof to provide electricity. And maybe also one day, Pachanita and others like her will inspire a change in attitudes towards women in science in Thailand.